Hello guys, I hope you're all well. Today I am going to be decluttering my wardrobe. I do this quite a lot, so I know that it's not gonna be a huge task. So I thought that this time I could do it in kind of a little bit more of a chatty way and kind of go through all of the pieces with you and actually show you me deciding which pieces I'm gonna get rid of and why, because before when I had a lot to get rid of, I would just show you like a sped up version of me just emptying my drawers. Yes, yeah, so I'm hoping that I don't have a lot to get rid of because it just shows that my minimalism journey is working. But at the same time, this is looking very, very cluttered and quite full, so I'm hoping that I do get rid of a few pieces. So let's go. So I'm gonna start by pulling out anything that I know straight away I don't wanna keep, and then I'm gonna try and organize it. So just kind of sorting out like the coat hangers and making sure that nothing's inside out and stuff like that. I still wear this one and love that. This one I didn't wear this winter, and I feel like that's a really good way to gauge it. So if you didn't wear it for a whole season, are you really likely to wear it the next season? Unless say you were pregnant during that season, so you didn't fit into it, but you know you're gonna fit into it the next same season, um, but this one, the weather was fine for it, I could have fit into it, and I just didn't wear it, which is weird because I wore it a lot the winter before, but yeah, I'll get rid of that one. Um, I like this, I like this, I love these, I always wear that. I'm gonna get rid of this one, even though whenever I wear it I get a lot of compliments, but the sleeves are quite baggy, which are a little bit annoying, and I've got this one, which is quite a similar pink, and I just prefer it. So that can go. I've got some multiples here. I'm gonna keep all three of those though and then I'll just put them on separate hangers in a minute. This one, again, I really, really like and it's quite a unique pattern, but I think I wore it like once. Um, it's a little bit of an odd shape. It kind of sits quite high up and in a jumper, I like something a little bit longer um, just so I can wear it with leggings and stuff. So yeah, get rid of that one. Obviously I have to keep my super mum jumper. Not because I'm obviously a super mum, but you know. This one was my maternity jumper and I got it when I was pregnant with, I think Jensen. So it's at least like two years old now, but I absolutely love it. It's something that I wear summer, winter, mainly around the house, but it's so nice and thin and comfy and I love the color. So this one is going to stay. This can go because I only got it a few months ago, but I've only worn it like once or twice. I feel like I'm getting rid of a lot. This one is very extra, but I love it. I really love it. And I will keep this one because I love the slogan. Okay. This dress, I feel kind of makes me look like a lollipop because it's a very long knitted dress. It's one that you can only really wear in the winter because it's so thick, but then it's sleeveless. So it's a bit of an awkward one. It's lovely, it's just a bit, I don't know, it's just weird wearing sleeveless knitwear. I love this one. I love this top. See, it was very organized before in terms of like jumpers and t-shirts and dresses and stuff, and now it is not. Um, you'll also notice that I've got a lot of quite summery bits in here as well. Not really summery bits, my proper summer dresses are in like a Ziploc bag under the bed. But yeah, not everything is very wintry in here. This is really awkward, I've only worn it once. It shrunk a little bit when I washed it, so it's a little bit shorter than I'd like. But it's so see-through that you have to wear a cami underneath. But because it's so short, you then see the cami. So unless I wore really high-waisted, I feel like it would just be a bit of a faff. So, we will get rid of that. Okay, keeping that dress because I love it. This top, I really like. I love the colour, it's comfy. But just the quality of it's gone a little bit and just where I've washed it so many times. But it just looks so creased now. Okay, a couple of summery dresses I'm definitely gonna keep. And that one, I love. This one I need to try on because when I wore it during the summer, I got it in a size six, well, extra small, and it was very tight and I have gained eight pounds. This is a tricky one because I wore it to a wedding. I don't really like to wear quite like bold out there dresses twice. I wear like daytime quite like this, I've probably worn a million times. But yeah, I didn't get that many pictures on Instagram. So as long as I go to a different wedding and it would have to be a winter wedding now. Um, so I think I'll keep it. And this I love. This one I really, really like. I haven't worn it, I don't think I wore it at all last summer. Okay, this is another one that I didn't wear over winter. And it's just, you know, when the really, really long kind of jumpery dresses were in style, but it's got a really high slit up the side. Um, but it's so high that you can't really wear it with leggings, but it's kind of too long to wear with jeans. I think that's gonna go. Okay, I have a couple of nice blouses that I like to wear. Summery play suit that I love. This that I really like, love this. 
love this still and this and this still love a denim jacket this i didn't really wear but i feel like i want to give another chance next winter um and then i got a cardigan a smart jackety thing during the winter i didn't really go out for dinner that much but i feel like now that i'm like solo mama and i've got every other weekend child free um, maybe i will go out for more dinners and stuff um another cardigan or two jumper and a big pink thick knitted cardigan I'm wondering do i need three very similar ones this one i do really like because it's nice and thick do i need both of these i'm gonna say no i think i'm gonna get rid of this one with a little flex of color oh i don't know actually no i'm gonna swap i'm gonna get rid of that one and keep this one this jumper fell on the floor as well, but I'm going to keep this on because I love my mother jumper. Okay, so I'm going to work on bottoms now. And I don't have a lot. <laughs> as you can see, that's all I've got. Obviously, some things have got like two or three bits on each coat hanger. Let me just push this back. So I have got my wet look leggings that I love. And then I do love joggers. So I'm going to keep hold of these ones. I've got some plain grey joggers. Again, I'm going to keep hold of those because I just live in like comfy loungewear. I'm going to get rid of these. I kept them for quite a while. These are my old maternity ones. Um, and for a while, I could still wear them, but they are getting baggy now. They've got this huge waistband and they're just so comfy. I just thought even though I wasn't pregnant anymore, I just still just wanted to wear them all the time. But yeah, it's a bit ridiculous now because if I have the waistband down, they fall down. And if I have it up, they still kind of fall down. Um, and it just looks a bit ridiculous. So I'm gonna let those go to another home. These summery trousers I love, and I'm definitely gonna wear these in the summer i got a lot of wear out of these last year okay and then these are probably like my all-time favorite joggers i feature these a lot on my instagram because they look quite good on the bum um, and they're just really comfy and soft so yeah i'm definitely gonna keep those and what have i got here oh some more leather look leggings i didn't think i had these which is why i bought the other ones these i absolutely love and i wear a lot in the summer and um, these ones kind of hit or miss sometimes i really don't like them and sometimes i really love them so i'm going to try them on again and see how I feel. And then I have got my old faithful jeans. These are the ones that I wear all the time. They are River Island. And then I've got these black leggings, which are really good for in the winter because they're thick. They're from Zara about five years ago. And they're kind of like jog per, like horse riding style ones. They're so comfy and they just like, they're like quite compressed. These black kind of baggy trousers, I'm gonna try on again because they're a size 10. And my mum gave them to me when she was going through chemo. So she, had lost a bit of weight, so they were too small for her, but I was pregnant, so I was bigger than my normal size. Yeah, I think they're gonna be too big for me now. And then I've got my Adidas leggings. As you can see, I wear a lot of like leggings and joggers. I'm making a photo shoot. Are you? Yeah. Yep. He's making a potion. Out of glue. With glitter and glue. There you go things that we do to do a video um, and then I've got some plain leggings which I've got a feeling don't fit me very well and to be honest if I'm gonna wear leggings it tends to be with quite like a plain baggy t-shirt in which case I'd want to dress them up with leather look maybe I should just keep one pair of plain I'll try them on and we'll see um, and then I've got a little leather look skirt which I really really like black tights always need a pair of black tights and then some black skinny jeans. These are, these are my high-waisted ones. And then these are my normal ones. So yeah, I wanna keep both of those. And then my mum jeans, which I absolutely love. And then these are my lace clots that I wore to death over summer. So I can't wait to be able to wear those again. And that is it. So I'm gonna reorganize everything now and put everything into categories and see how it goes. bottom done I have got two pairs of black jeans here two pairs of blue jeans and then I've got two pairs of wet leg leggings and the kind of jog purse style leggings and then these are my joggers so I've got well three pairs of joggers and a pair of like gym leggings that just for like around the house um, I then got my skirt and tights and then three pairs of summery trousers and now let's get started on the top <laughs>
I have organised it into outerwear, so things like the denim jacket and that kind of nice gilet type thing. Thick cardigans, thinner cardigans, thick jumpers and thinner jumpers. And then over on this side I've got tops, just more like blousy tops that I don't want to fold in case they crease, even though all tops kind of crease. And then I've got a nice summery play suit, some dresses and that's it. So now I'm going to try and kind of organise the hangers a little bit just so that most of them are on these wooden ones um, and any ones that aren't are kind of grouped together and then I'm going to order some of the nice hangers. Okay, so as you can see, I have organised all of the hangers. So not only have I tried to get them all to be the same ones, they're all in the same direction as well. So yeah, having it in the same direction makes them sit nicely together and it creates more space as well. A great tip as well, which I forgot to mention, is if you find it quite difficult to get rid of things and you can't really remember when the last time you wore them and like how often you wear different items, start at the beginning of the year or start once you've done a kind of wardrobe organisation like this with all of the coat hangers the same way and then once you've worn something when you put it back in have it facing the other way so that the hook is facing towards you. I know it does look a little bit less organised and it does make it a bit more difficult to get those items back out. But then after say three months or six months or if you want to do it for the whole year you can see any of the coat hangers that are still facing the original way you haven't worn those clothes for a whole what, three months, six months or a year. I'd say definitely at least give it a whole season because like I said, if you haven't worn it for say the whole of the summer, are you really likely to wear it the following summer? Okay, so this is the pile of stuff that I am left with. Oh, my phone's in there. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm going to organise this now into things to give to charity um, and things that I want to quickly try on. Okay, so this one I decided that I'm actually going to put in um, like a Ziploc bag of winter stuff. I'll then add in like the really thick chunky cardigans and stuff that I'm not likely to wear in the summer. And so these hangers can go to charity. These I need to try on, try on, try on. Like we're from a different star Flying over streets and our broken hearts But they can even touch us We found a different beat Paradise is waiting and we bought the lead so these bits here are going to charity and then this one is just going in the winter bag so I feel like that's quite a nice little amount to get rid of in the wardrobe. So that is it, that's my wardrobe all nicely organised and decluttered and it feels so good just to have everything all nice and ordered. I know little things like the coat hangers being the right way and all being the same, I know it's not really important but just to me it makes it look so much better and so much more organised and I just feel more zen when I open my wardrobe. But yeah, it makes it so much easier to know what I've got and to choose an outfit in the morning even though like I said I pretty much live in active wear at the moment so I hope you like this video if you did please do give it a big fat thumbs up if you've got any other tips for wardrobe organization and decluttering and minimizing then please do leave them in the comments below give this video a big fat thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you next time oh and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already thanks bye